broads in the London. She's the Dolly in the family. Credit cards in the scams. Hitting the licks in the van. Hi guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing some more F1 2020 and we're going to start a My Team career. Never played this, not sure what to expect. But we're going to find out. Welcome to My Team. Here, you'll experience the world of Formula One not only as a driver, but as the owner of a brand new F1 team. First things first, let's choose your character. Um... Let's keep him. Right. Now, let's set up some of the key details of your new team. We'll start with an easy one. What name would you like to give the team? Uh, I'm going to be Fuller. Let's just uh, do nice. that. Now, some kind of income stream is critical, so we need to sign a primary sponsor. Our primary sponsor will pay a signing bonus to the team up front. This is vital to cover the early investments we need to make. They will also provide valuable weekly income for us. Each sponsor has a goal that they want the team to achieve. If we hit that goal, the sponsor will pay us an additional goal bonus. Uh, Fantastic. That looks better long term. We've got a budget to work with. Our car won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit. So let's sign a power unit supplier now. We need both performance and durability from our power unit, but we also need to balance the books. We're going to have a lot of other areas to invest our cash into. The, the, the most, that one costs the most, and it's the best. Hmm. Let's go with Mercedes for now. Key partners for our team now. But we still need a teammate for you. These are the drivers available to be your first teammate. They all have their own strengths oh, and weaknesses. Well, I know which one I'm going for. Everything when deciding who to hire. Drivers earn acclaim based on their performances. When a driver earns enough acclaim, they will level up. The higher a driver's level, the more acclaim they will earn for their current team. And remember, the faster the team levels up, the faster our income will. The higher a driver's experience, the more resource points are earned to spend on vehicle upgrades. Racecraft is the driver's skill to effectively complete overtakes when opportunities arise. Awareness shows the driver's ability to avoid errors and incidents. Pace describes the driver's ability to set competitive lap times. Rating is a summary of the driver's overall skill level. Well, I know which I'm going for. Sorry, mix you, Looks like We can't afford this power unit supplier and teammate. Let's go back into one of those and sign someone Aww. cheaper. Or try and find a sponsor who pays more up front to offset the cost. Uh... Here are the drivers interested in joining our team. Look at their stats and pick someone right. soon. Looks like obviously the better the performance and durability, we have to go like we can afford this power unit supplier and teammate. Go ahead and confirm if you're happy. Okay, okay that's not good. delivery will be running this season. We can add more sponsors to the car as we sign them throughout the year. And don't worry, we can edit our look at any time from HQ. Right. Okay, um... I'm not 
Oh, she loved doing it. for our team branding. Select an existing badge, edit it, or create one from scratch. Right. See these colors throughout HQ. Okay. Great. That's everything we need. You can go back and edit anything we've done so far, and we'll come back here at the start of each season. But if you're ready to go, hit advance to head to Team HQ, and we can start our push to the top of Formula One. Okay, let's advance then. We'll do uh, 22 bases. So you can't change then. I think we'll do a 25, yeah, because I think we did 20 on the career mode and we seem to be, you know, getting used to it. folks and welcome to the HQ of Formula One's newest team. We've been invited backstage to gain an exclusive insight into what could be one of the most exciting entries in the sport for many years. Now we've seen a number of new teams enter the sport over the last decade amongst their number Manor, Caterham, HRT and of course Haas. And while some have proved to be successful, others have morphed into different teams and some have disappeared completely. What marks this team out, though, as being something different is that its owner is also its driver. Now, there's a rich history of that in Formula One too. Sir Jack Brabham, John Surtees, Graham Hill, and Bruce McLaren all drove their own cars in the sport, but it has become increasingly rare in recent years. What's very special about this team, though, is that, that while the team itself is new to Formula One, so too is its driver and owner. Whatever happens this season, you've already mm. made the history books. Tell me, do you feel up to the mammoth task of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? Um, I'll just put that. Every team needs two drivers, but what was it that drew you to your teammates? Um, yeah, that looks like a good answer. No one aims to finish bottom of the table. Who's the team you're aiming to beat? Uh, do, do, do. Oh, let's put that. That was a good race to get for Williams. How are you expecting the car to feel out on track? Um. Oh, golf. There we go. The other teams now have years of experience, both on and off the track. How are you planning to catch up to them? There we go. Overtaking is a key part of this sport. How have you ensured that your car can take advantage of each opportunity that comes your way? That one's a good one. 
And finally, which of your new departments are you most proud of? Oh. Well, that's about all we've got time for here. We will see how this fledgling team fares in its first Grand Prix. Okay, great, thank you. That's a wrap. Perfect. I hate interviews, even, you know... Even if it's just in a game, I still don't like them one bit. Great interview, boss. You nailed exactly what the team's been working on. When you've got time, check the R&D tree to see our current progress and where we think there's room for more. And while you're at it, why not take a stroll around HQ and check on how the team's doing? <sighs> this is where you can view our current facilities and the effects they're having on the business. You can also invest some of our cash into upgrades for these facilities. Okay, let's go for the car reveal and stuff like that. Hey boss, I think we could better manage our time by organising some team activities. Head to the activity screen to see what we have available. It's important to use the time between races to the fullest extent, and that's where these activities come in. Manage everyone's time as efficiently as possible to maximise the team's performance. Go through to this team uh, reveal. Well, car reveal, I think it is actually. My apologies. I love that number 69 on the front. It just that's, you know, it just is how it should be. But that looks brilliant. Looks like a right to red mean machine. That's what you want to do. Look, car looks good. I'm hoping it handles good. That's exactly what you want. Okay, uh, let's just keep going for now. Okay, right, well, I'm going to finish this here because I just wanted to do some setting up to get started. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. That way you'll be notified when we start going through the um, the races to qualify, you know, do the races themselves. So stick around for them. Until the next one, I'll see you later. Nice one, guys.